Now, uh, quite a number of our patients go, go through stem cell transplant here at Peter Mac, and as part of uh, being as part of going through the stem cell transplant, they get given really strong chemotherapy, uh, which wipes out their cancer cells, but also unfortunately takes away a lot of the protection and or immunity that they have had to a range of infections or illnesses or even previous vaccination. And so as a result, they are at higher risk uh, for flu in infections. So this is a study that um, we've sort of developed with, together with our partners at the WHO uh, Influenza Centre at the Doherty Institute, which is in, in the precinct. Um, and what we wanted to see is to see what is the best approach uh, to try to improve our patients' response to, to the flu vaccine and therefore give them a bit much better level of protection. Um, and so it looks at two different approaches, if you like, or two different ways of, of protection. Um, one is what we call the standard of care. So people get two flu vaccines in your first year after a stem cell transplant. And the study looks at comparing that with, with a different approach, which in, involves using a higher dose vaccine or, or um, to see if that could sort of improve their response to, uh, to vaccination and to give them a higher level of protection. Also, the higher dose vaccine is basically the same flu vaccine that we normally give uh, to, to patients, except that it contains four times as, as much, if you like, um, antigens or, or the, the part of the flu vaccine that stimulates uh, protection. But hopefully by having more uh, so-called antigens in, in the vaccine, we hope to produce a, a much better response from the immune system, from the patient's immune system. And so, and that better response, hopefully, uh, means a better level of protection uh, for them. The, the, the outcomes of the study is actually to look at the blood markers of their immune response and, and the level of protection that they achieve to the flu vaccine in blood. Uh, that sometimes can be quite different to, to whether they you know, turn out to be fully protected against clinical infection with, with influenza, but that's often, um, based on lots of studies, that's often the best uh, test that we, we, we go with to make sure that our patients are protected.